Hello everybody, today we are going to use Google Slides in a unique, fun way. Instead of doing a regular slideshow like we've done in the past, we're going to use it to create something uh, more graphical. Uh, this is a sample of, let's call it a poster, uh, for a fun day that's coming up in 2017, something we always love here at Village School. Um, also, maybe advertising something or a summer vacation or an event that is coming up. So you can think of what you would like to share or advertise or create a poster about. These are just two examples. And the blank slide for it is right over here. And to towards the left, I did put some helpful information about getting some text boxes and inserting some fun shapes, cropping a picture, and also changing the order of some of the pictures and items on your screen from front to back. So we're going to go through that right now. I'm going to recreate one of my sample ones down here, maybe for fun day on this sample. So the first thing I want to do is add a nice little background like this for my header of the page. So I'm going to go into insert image. I'm going to do a search for blue sky. And of course your topic may be different. So I'm going to choose this picture and select it and I'll move it up to the top and maybe resize it a little bit so it fits from side to side. The only thing is I don't want this whole picture I just want a header. So I go up here to my crop tool and I grab one of these handles and I drag it up and then if I'm happy with it I can either click the crop tool again or just click off on the side. Now I have a nice little header image. Now I'd like to get some text. So I can go into the insert menu and a text box and I can drag out a box and then I could type in what I want. I'll do fun day and maybe below that I'll put the date 2017 or I could even put the real date which is going to be uh, June 8th. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. It's very small. I'm going to make the font size bigger. I'm going to center it. I'm going to make it bold. Maybe come up with a new, a different font style here. And I can move it around a bit. Now I'm going to create one of these cool little um, call out boxes here. And it's pretty easy to do. So if I go to insert again, then I can go down to shapes. And here are the, are the call out options. There's a bunch of different options you can choose from. I'm going to choose this one again. And I just drag my mouse out. And there it is. And if I click inside, I get a cursor so I can type. So I'm going to put June 8th. Okay. And it doesn't look that exciting right now, so I'm going to make it a little more exciting. I have a fill bucket up here. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. And my text is a little small, so I'm going to make that larger. And maybe I'll center that one too. Maybe make it bold. So there I have something that's really going to catch everyone's attention. Uh, now if I want some additional text boxes like I have here, these are just individual text boxes. And I can go to insert again, text box, and drag out a box. And I can put don't forget. And maybe if I could list them if I wanted to. Uh, once again, it's small, so I'm going to make it larger. Maybe bold, change another uh, cool font style. Okay. Uh, then I can go insert some additional things, like don't forget to bring a water bottle, some sunscreen, a hat. Um, and I can just go to insert image for that. And I can type in a baseball at. And once I find the hat that I like, I can go ahead and click on it and select. Pictures may be large, so you may have to resize a little bit. And you can start moving your items around. That's the beauty of doing this. Uh, rather than doing it in a Google document, here just gives me the freedom to really move things around um, very easily and very quickly. Now, of course, you can go to places like Cool Text if you want to get a Cool Text title uh, as well. So that's how you can add some really simple things uh, to, your, to your slideshow, which is really more like a poster at this point. One thing that you may need to uh, work on as well is sending things to the front or to the back. So let me go ahead and add another image here. 
Let me add another one. I'll do water bottle. And maybe I'll just choose this one. And there's my water bottle. Now, if you notice, I just moved my water bottle on top of my text. So there are what we call layers in this program. So this is the front layer, and my text is in the back layer. And you can have numerous layers. Right now, it's on top of my hat. So if I wanted to bring it to the front or to the back, what I can do is right-click my mouse, go to Order, and I can send to back. Now the text is in front, and my writing is in the back. So that comes in handy with a lot of things, especially up here on my title. If I, let's go order, and I bring to front, now I can't see my text. So that little step really does come in handy to help you so you can then see what you want to see or hide what you want to hide. So that's just by right-clicking your mouse, going to order, and then you can uh, depending on the option that's available. Bring to front, bring forward, send backwards, and so on. Um, so that's what you're going to work on today, and if you need to, or if you have time, you can create a second one uh, just by adding the plus sign over here, and now you have another slide where you can create a poster on a different topic. So be creative, have some fun, and use Google Slides in a different way.